Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to start a new journal. It is a ring bound junk journal. And what I have done is I have pulled in a bunch of ready-made ephemera. So these are ephemera pieces that we have made generally during our um, mass making sessions and things like that. Um, and then I've decorated them, uh, you know, just in kind of slow time. And then I've got these. Now, these which are going to form my, um, you know, base pages, they are just literally printables that I've printed off. Um, as you can see, my printer's not even printed borderless, but I'm not going to worry about that. I've printed these on 230 GSM and then I've just folded them in half. So they're an A4 sheet folded in half. I've glued it together and then I've stitched around the edges. And that's my base pieces. So I've got a variety of those. And then what I've mixed in is a couple of um, thick sheets of A4, just coffee dyed paper. So this I think is um, 250 GSM. So it's just coffee dyed and, you know, just plain, just for sort of some contrast so all my pages aren't exactly identical. Got a couple of those. And then this, this is just some old scrapbook paper. Again, I'd had it in my stash for a long time. Obviously, as you can see, it's just a brown one, but I thought it toned pretty well because I'm going to, I think, I think be keeping this kind of browns and pinks. I may veer off um, as we get started because <laughs> sometimes I seem to do that. Now, when I make my ring bound journals, yeah, I generally start like this and then I expand as I feel that I need extra things. So obviously this is only five sheets so far. So I will need to obviously add, sorry, six, six sheets so far. I will need to probably add some more. Um, I also will be putting in some plain pages in there, which, you know, is what I would call the journal page, you know, journaling pages. Um, obviously, I've also got to add my covers. So I will just use, oops, I've got some here behind me. This is some thick card um, I've had in my, you know, my stash for years and I've cut it down to size. And when I say cut it down to size, I've cut it slightly bigger than the A4 folded in half. So you can probably, hopefully just about see on camera. It's just got sort of a millimeter or so top and bottom, and then a little bit more than that on the sides. It doesn't have to be bigger. You could make it, you know, the size. You could even make it smaller. I've seen some journals, um, particularly on Instagram, where they're very random sizes, and sometimes people make the covers smaller, and that looks amazing. I haven't personally ever made one like that, um, but definitely, you, could, you know, you could, um, you know, exactly as you like. You don't have to use something solid. I sometimes just use, um, you know, an A4 envelope or, you know, slightly bigger than an A4 envelope. And again, I would just kind of either fold it in half and glue it together. So it's technically it would be like four sheets thick and then I'd cover it with things. And that would be for a more squishy sort of soft coverish ring bound journal. These, obviously, they're going to be, you know, thicker. They're going to be a, a rigid board. But just to kind of demonstrate, so once you've got, obviously, your six pages, your back and your front cover, which obviously are giving another inside cover. So these six pages are 12 sides, plus you've got these. So you've got 14 sides straight away. I would then perhaps, if you know, if I felt like it was lacking and it needed some extra things, I'd perhaps add, I don't know, maybe like a collage masterboard sheet or something, or um, maybe an envelope or something as just a slightly different page. And then, like I say, I would also have in here some plain journaling pages. So that's kind of my base of my journal. Now I'm going to put the covers to one side for a moment. I don't tend to punch my holes until much further into the process. So I tend to decorate my pages first on the whole. Once I have quite a few decorated, I would generally cover perhaps this, maybe decorate it, maybe not decorate it. And then I would punch my holes and kind of assemble it. And then I would go back through and do all my kind of decorative details. So that's the kind of basic, um, you know, yeah, getting started kind of process. So let's have a look and just get started making a couple of pages. So I'm just going to take these two. So not, not the front side of this, but, you know, these two. I'm thinking these would perhaps be next to each other in a journal. Again, no hard and fast rules. You know, that's the beauty of a uh, ring bound journal because you can always, you know, pull your bits out and re remash it up, you know, um, if you fancied kind of some other 
alternative looks. Now I've got here some of my um, postal collection papers. I love this brown sheet. So I will probably put some of this down onto this coffee dyed paper just again so it's got a bit more interest. Now up here, where I have got this, where it's not printed borderless, I'm just going to ink that up. So it's just, you know, oops, a little bit more disguised. I mean, obviously it's still going to be visible, but it's not going to be quite such as, you know, how I saw, will stand out like a sore thumb as it was white. So, you know, I don't think that really notices at all. I'll go around the whole edge. Again, I haven't coffee dyed these. You could, of course, coffee dye your pages. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Obviously, this one is, you know, it is actually a coffee dyed page. Um, and at this point, I try, if I remember, to turn it over and ink the other side. And the reason for doing that is because once I've decorated one side, it's probably going to be a bit lumpy bumpy. And so, obviously, to then ink around it, it's just going to be you know more difficult because it's not going to lay flat it's going to be wobbling around where it's got you know lumps and bumps on it so that's that now let's have a look and see some of the pieces that I've picked out of my my stash so I mean I'm quite loving this this is one of those Rachel um style pockets absolutely love that I've got this one uh let's just have a look and see what's going to you know look really pretty next to this I mean, actually, that looks quite lovely. Um, ooh, that's quite nice, actually. Yeah, maybe that one. Just go through. Just decide. Oh, that's quite lovely, too. Uh, right, okay. So I'm, I think I'm going to go for these. Whoops. So, like this. So if I just bring in that postal collection, I might now change my mind from the postal one because actually maybe what I need to do is add a bit of red on this page to bring in the red or the pinks from here. So let me just see what papers I've got laying around. I've got this one. I don't know whether this is quite right. This is my Country Cottages paper and this is, sorry, this is my Roses um, collection. <clears throat> mm really kind of got enough red hold on I've got quite a few sheets here from my valentine's collection oh no no they're not actually tell a lie they are not from my valentine's collection there uh let's see what else I've got here ah, there's some from the Val that's from the Savile Row that's another one from the valentine's collection oh they're too red they are too red um what have I got here just having a quick flick through to see if I've got any more from my roses collection that I can just literally use. Got some more from my Valentine's collection. Oh, they are too red, aren't they? But this has got a much more, you know, pinky, pinky vibe going on. So let's just see. Oh, 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 oh. What's this? No, no. Oh dear. Oh, here we go. That's from the Roses collection. So I could use something like that. It's just really to get a little bit of, you know, the um, the pinky colour onto there to just, yeah, get it kind of blending in to some extent. So I personally prefer to have things torn, so I'm just going to tear my my edges. Again, that's just personal, personal preference. <coughs> So let me just put that there, that one there. And obviously once we've actually coffee dyed this and things, it's going to tone in a lot more. So let's just go over there. Like that, okay. Just glue that one down over there. So then take your glue spreader and obviously, you know, smoosh the glue out so it's nice and smooth. And now I'll just quickly go around that just to, you know, hopefully blend it in a bit better. There we go. Okay. And they don't have to be the same, obviously. We're just trying to get some sort of shades of similar colours. I've actually, I've got some of my perfect posies. 
Oh, pink, pink posies, I think this is. Um, yeah, this might look okay, so let's give this a try. Oh, yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? So, again, just quickly glue this one down. Okie dokie. Like that. Right, okay. Yep, like how that looks. So straight away, you know, they look a little bit better now because I've got sort of a bit of pink and obviously, you know, brown pieces. So they're just toning in. So I just quickly ink around this one as well. There we go. Right, okay. So yeah, loving those. Now, do I want to have anything in the background of this? I'm kind of thinking maybe, maybe put some brown in the background. Um, you know, now to kind of tone down all the florals. So I don't know whether I will, but let's just give this a try. So Yeah, I might have something like that down there. It's a bit of a shame because I would have quite liked to have covered up that portion where it's not borderless, but never mind. Let's just go for this up here. Oops. Again, just glue that down. Like that. I like to always spread it out with my glue spreader, which... You know, I just keep like a, you know, a gift card or something like that. And any kind of um, card will do. And then also just catch any excess glue with my dried out wet wipe. So there we go. Right. Loving how that looks. So I'm thinking now, <laughs> now we perhaps need some brown over here. Again, you know, might change my mind, but let's just see. over there oh I don't know now let's just take this down mm. not bad is it so yeah should we have that there now obviously I want to have some lace and things like that so I'm just trying to think which colour lace to go for here do I want to you know, like mix it up and have something like white, which, you know, feels like it would be quite an unexpected choice. But actually, maybe the white's just what this needs to, you know, lessen the sort of, not saying grungy, but, you know, it's got a little bit, a little bit of a grungier feel. So I'm just pulling in some white, white lace here. Quite like that. Yeah, I quite like the contrast of the white lace. I'm just going to try, just before we do that, I've got... Mm, oh, this is lovely. I don't know as I've got any more of this, so I've been hoarding this in my stash, and, um, yeah, I mean, it's going to kill me to use this if I do. Oh, I mean, that is pretty gorgeous, <laughs> it's got to be said. Right, let's just take this down. And, of course, I'm going to make this go further by cutting it in half, because heaven forbid that I would use the whole width of that on there. I mean, it doesn't need the whole width. It's, you know, it really doesn't. Okay. Move it out of the way. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, absolutely love that. And then I'm kind of thinking maybe in the background have something else. So... This is my um, buildings, you know, uh, sorry, not my buildings, my Victorian London collection papers. And you get this awesome collage sheet with all these different, you know, historical buildings in London. Um, and to be honest, I use this really often for just filling in 
spaces in the background, you know, to create some sort of extra pockets and detail. So they're just ideal for that. You know, you could have something like that just poking out. It just breaks it up. So, yeah, I love how that looks. So, you know, and even if even if you don't use this as a pocket, and I say this all the time, it doesn't matter. The fact that you've put it on there, you've got the option. So, yeah, we could have that there. And maybe even going right out, you know, right out to the edge. What do we think? I wonder if it would be better like that. So if I do that, I probably won't even bother sticking that down as a pocket. I will probably just literally, you know, stick that down completely. Um, yeah, I do really love how that looks, I've got to say. Okay, right, let's just pop this down. So just literally glue this down, you know, in its entirety. So not gluing it on just three sides, but gluing it properly down all over. Put it higher up. And I've put it like right over to the edge, really. So like that, okay. Right. Oh, I'm gonna use some of this lace that I just want to hoard. But yeah, it does look gorgeous, doesn't it? So again, just glue that down here on the edge. Okay. Right. Oh, isn't that lovely? It's such a gorgeous lace, isn't it? I mean, it's not, um, you know, a vintage lace or anything like that, but it's just a lace that I absolutely just love. So, yeah, it's kind of killing me to use it. Right, so this is one of those Rachel pockets, like I said. Now, just deciding, do I want to glue it down like a tuck? So just on, like, two sides. This I'm going to glue down here so it's fixed. So this like wrap around thing, this is what's holding the pocket together essentially. So just pop some glue into there. You know, without this, it wouldn't even be a pocket. It would just be a folded piece of paper. So yeah, can have that down there. Probably quite low down so to get, you know, quite a bit of the other papers and things in view. So yeah, do I want to put it just two sides there and there and then it would be a tuck spot. I could do it on three sides and it would be a side loading pocket. Oh, I can't decide now. Um, do you know, I think I'm going to do it on two sides like a tuck spot because I actually think that would be really good. So I'm going to glue the bottom with just my tacky glue. But I'm going to glue this side with my hot glue because that's gluing over the lace. So I just want to make sure that that glues down nice and fast. Don't want it, you know, not gluing down. So like that. Okay. Press that down. There we go. Obviously, just press that down at the bottom. So, you know, the bottom's obviously not going to be glued down for a while, but the side is now glued. Oh my gosh, isn't that such a beautiful, beautiful page? Now, I will probably finish this page off with some other details. So maybe like some, um, I don't know, maybe a bow or, I don't know, maybe a lace cluster or a ribbon or, or something. You know, I will probably not leave it as plain as this, but if I did... I think that looks super pretty anyway. I don't really even think it particularly needs anything else. I mean, look how quick that was to put together. Very, very easy to put together. So on the facing page, we'll just kind of, you know, mix this up. Now on the facing page, I'm wondering whether we could have that white. This might not kind of go because it might now look weird having the white lace where we've got that sort of like I said, it's not vintage, but looks very much like a vintage lace on the other side. So let's just cut that down. Okay. It's a really nice day today. Well, I say that actually since I've said that. I've now looked up and thought, actually, what am I talking about? The sun's gone right in. It was. It was looking like a really nice day. Oh, why have I pulled this in? I saw it there and thought, oh, let's try that flower. And obviously that flower is purple. Not really kind of got any, got any place on this page, has it? But just wanted to try it and see. 
Right. I'm thinking, is that even the right piece? Is that the right piece? Or would we prefer something else? Because now I've put a few, you know, a few decorative bits of paper on, you know, we might now decide actually it needs something else. So let's just go back through. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Do you know, I'm wishing I had some other shaped pieces because I feel like actually this possibly needs something that's, you know, a different shape to this. So yeah, might, might have to backtrack here a little bit and just see what other bits I've got. Because I, I, yeah, I did have some other little bit, bits and pieces as well. Oh, I've got this. This is one of those gorgeous coin envelopes. That looks really good, actually, doesn't it? Oh, 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 oh. Got this, which is one of my decorative edge strips. One of my ones that I've made rather than the digital ones. That's quite nice. Mm, oh, I don't know. Quite like this, to be honest. Yeah, I do quite like this. So maybe that now. Let's just see if we want any of this lace somewhere. Mm, wonder if we could have it up there. And actually, I wonder if we could have another one of these little buildings just over there in the corner. Just try that. I'm really warm, so even though, yeah, I've looked up and thought, it's not as nice as I thought it was outside. I've got my onesie on, I'm filming on a Sunday morning. I don't generally do that very often, but yeah, I just wanted to get a bit ahead and um, I thought, oh, I'll, I'll just film now. But yeah, I've got my onesie on and now I'm like sat here boiling, thinking, oh my goodness, why, why am I still wearing my onesie? Might have to even take it off, I'm so hot. So yeah, just hold on a minute. Right, I've changed <laughs> changed my top. I've put a cardigan on because I thought, oh, I might be a bit too cold without my onesie. Um, and I dug out some more ephemera. So I've got this piece. This is my Bright Roses. This is my um, Pale and Browns perfumes. And this is from my um, Great Expectations kit. But I thought that goes quite nicely, actually. So I think I'm going to go for that. I'd quite still like to have the building, I think, in the background, but I think kind of balance wise, it just needed something a different shape rather than, you know, something kind of long and, you know, the same shape. So just going to pop this on again. Oh, yeah, I've glued it on the wrong side now. So again, I'm just going to put this as a flat piece. I wouldn't normally do that. I would normally put these bits on as pockets. And to be honest, if I'd have thought a bit more carefully, I probably would have put it as a little side pocket, even if I didn't use it. But obviously I've got that whole Sunday thing going on, not quite focusing properly. So yeah. Now this I'm going to put in the middle, so it's almost like a little belly band. And then just want to see, do I want to have kind of lace? Do I want to have lace down the edge? I know it's a little bit, you know, samey samey, but I don't think that really matters too much. Um... Yeah, do we want to have lace down the edge? Mm. Let me just try that white lace again. I know, it's like I'm determined to have that white lace somewhere, aren't I? But yeah, I do like it. So, and I, I'm definitely, I'm going to have it on some of the pages, even if not this particular page. So yeah, I quite like the white lace. So I'm going to pop that down now. Again, I can't really tell which is the right way and the wrong way. I think this is the right way. Sometimes, you know, I'm not even sure whether there is a right way and a wrong way. I mean, I assume there probably is always, but it's, you know, very hard to tell. <clears throat> oh, I've got a little sort of seam there, so I'll just snip that off. Okay, right. So, a bit of lace running down the edge there. Again, just cut that. I don't mind it hanging, so, you know, just left it a bit long. Which I think is you know quite attractive really and then this I'm going to glue down just on two sides so it's going to be a little bit of a belly band 
so it's a little fold down flip as you could probably see just then oops this bit tucks into here oh well it did and now i oh oh it tucks behind there sorry i thought well that's really weird i i know it was tucked in there yeah it tucks behind the whole thing the flower and everything so right so again i'm going to glue this with my wet glue on the side that not you know that's not going on the lace and then i'm going to glue it with my hot glue on the side that is going on the lace just because it's going to not need kind of you know significant pressing down then so like that okay obviously this side you know will take a little bit of time to dry but the hot glue side is you know dried instantly so that's a belly band in there and like i say i will come back to these pages and probably put finishing touches on towards the end um so i will just kind of get my foundation pieces all on first and then you know then come back so let's pull in another couple of pages so let's do should we do this one and this one now so just exactly the same inking around here okay you know getting rid of especially that you know non-borderless top edge ink it here same reason okay get rid of that okay looking good looking good looking good okie dokie right there we go uh right okay so what would we like to do on here so oh my goodness that looks really yummy on here doesn't it yeah glad that i didn't put that down on that other page now because i absolutely love it on here let's just take in a bit more of that pink posies paper and perhaps just pop it pop it down onto this page so like that okay uh, yeah it just shows that we've got you know got some pink on here okay like that. so i mean they're coming together really quickly aren't they these pages you know obviously much helped because i've got you know mass made items already you know ready made ephemera and that's how we are assembling the pages is you know using the ready made ephemera it just speeds things up so much i mean if you're having to make ephemera as you go for your junk journal then obviously it's going to take you you know significantly longer oh sorry i had some blue seepage there so I oh, stained it very dark but anyway it's fine um it's going to take you significantly longer just because you know by the nature of the having to make things as you go so again let's just pull in a couple more things and sort of see what we've got i mean that's quite nice what is this oh that's a little coin envelope again this is made using um just some scrapbook paper uh let me just see whether i think that's a good piece or whether we'd prefer something else i mean that's quite nice actually as well or mm, that's quite nice uh mm got one of those little doily pockets oh it's a bit brown although maybe that picks up just enough just enough brown so now i'm feeling like there's a bit of a lack of of pink on here um hmm. i quite like that i know that's very weird but yeah <laughs> the one i said oh it's a bit brown this one's completely brown but for some reason it's it's won me over uh, what's that about i've no idea but yeah it's weird isn't it but for some reason this one i prefer so and let's just put this down here like that so this is one of my fun photos and i've printed like the background piece in vellum obviously and stuck it on there and then this is one of my faux stamped items so using that with the faux uh, the fun photos which it actually works really, really nicely, doesn't it? So, yeah, I'm quite liking how that looks together. Um, now, what would I like to have in the background? I do like to have little bits in the background if, you know, if possible. I'm not saying it's, you know, 
always, always the case, but I, I think that's quite fun to have some bits in the background. So let's just see whether I've got some. Uh, just thought I might have some printed bits that I could use as a little pocket in the background. Um, no, of course I can't see anything suitable now. Always the way, isn't it? I've got that. It's a bit yellow. Uh, hmm. Just see whether I've got some of my like vintage ephemera pieces printed off in the bigger size. Oh, that one. Let's just try this. This might be, you know, too brown. It might not be the right piece, but let's just give it a try. Do the printing off some more, more of my Victorian ephemera pieces, but let's give this a try. Oh, that works pretty well, doesn't it? Again, it's just tying in the brown from the other page, you know, which sometimes I just think that's all you need to get the balance right is just, you know, incorporate the colour from one side onto the other side, you know. And that's how I think um, you can mix things up. You know, if they're not really matching at first, all you have to do is bring in a little bit of something with that colour onto the page that's not matching and it's just going to make it work then more seamlessly. I mean, obviously pages don't have to be matching at all. Um, you know, I think I'm hopefully beginning to get a little bit better at my not having to be matchy-matchy, but you know, it's it's still there. It's still a bit of an issue, but yeah, hopefully I'm improving slightly, but there we go. I mean, that just works, doesn't it? So again, I'm going to glue this down going to glue it down as a tuck spot isn't this gorgeous this again is my roses papers and as you can see it's just got one of my perfume bottles on there and then it's just got um one of my pale butterflies and that's all there is on there just a, a perfume bottle and the pale butterflies a bit of lace and you know how gorgeous does that look so i mean you really don't need much like like we said before i mean just you know one or two pretty pieces and that's it just enough to make your page you know really kind of pop out and look lovely just got some of my number tabs here so i'm just going to see whether i'd like to have any of those Oops. just because there happen to be quite a few brown ones on on here so i thought well actually might might just use one of these I mean, it's probably not really adding an, an awful lot. Perhaps we'll have it on this page instead. Um, oh, just thinking, shall we try one of those buildings again on here? And this is where I find I've now got no more buildings left. Ah, try the new potty. I must, must, must print off some more things so I've got a good variety. So I've got these again from my Great Expectations kit, which... I, these are printed on two to a page. Um, I can't remember whether this is a setting that I had to do or whether they come, you know, with them one to a page and two to a page. I can't remember, so I do apologise. But yeah, let's just have a look and just see whether this might look quite good. It may be too small. I'm feeling like it would look better if it was bigger. But that being said, maybe then it would look imbalanced because I'd have two pretty much similar size pieces on this page I don't know have a look okay oh that is gorgeous I love how that looks that's so pretty now do we want that on the pink or do we want it over here I mean I feel like it probably needs more you know on the plain side but Actually, I, I feel it does look better over here. So let's glue this down. This, obviously, it's not gluing over any lace or anything, so I'm just going to glue it with my tacky glue. Oops. 
doing everything for some reason as tuck spots. Again, that's not intentional. That's just kind of how it's panned out on this journal. But I'm sure that I'll, you know, <laughs> eventually have some pages where they're not just tuck spots. But yeah, that's weird, isn't it? How they're all just tuck spots so far. Okay, I love that. So, yeah, I may put something in here in the background. Um, yeah, I might have to actually print something off because I'm looking around to see if I've got anything suitable and I can't see anything so far. So I might have to print something off to have there. But again, you know, that's going to look really pretty, isn't it? Now, just see. I mean, maybe we might have a bit of white, white lace up the top. like that oh my goodness I mean how gorgeous does that look yeah so to be honest I'm just going to put that down as is now I will put this down on three sides I probably wouldn't use this as a pocket if I'm truthful it's very tiny um but you know who knows maybe maybe I'll do something very tiny on there it's it's doubtful if I'm truthful because me and tiny don't really seem to go together but at least, you know, if I put it down on three sides, I've got that option, haven't I? So, like that, okay. Pop the the number tab just there to the side. Okay. Like that. Glue that down. And then the bit of lace, was that the bit that I was going to use? Yeah. Yeah. Just the lace at the top. I mean, that looks stunning, doesn't it? Isn't that just so pretty? So, I mean, what a fantastic start. You know, this is just looking absolutely scrumptious already. And like I said, I mean, we are literally racing through here. I mean, we've done four sides. Four sides already. Oh, I wonder if I put that on back. Oh, what an idiot. Did I? Oh, I wish I could tell whether lace is on the right way or not. I can never really see. Anyway. Um, yeah, we've done four sides already, which is pretty awesome, isn't it? Like I say, I mean, I would probably, you know, continue like this for all of those pages or or most of them anyway. And then I would go back through, punch all the um, pages, put them into my big rings or onto my big rings. And then I would probably... Um, go back through and do some finishing touches so when I say finish, finishing touches I'm talking things like you know for example <laughs> this was just floating around on my desk but you know maybe I would add like a little flower there um just seeing what else I've got floating about I don't know maybe add some more of those little number tabs I've got here some oops some of my ribbon embellishments Maybe add some of these, you know, for just some sort of, you know, finishing touches. That looks gorgeous, doesn't it? You know, and that's what's going to make the journal look really, really special. So although it's looking quite plain at the moment, obviously, once we do the finishing touches, it will, you know, it will come to life and spring to life then. So, um, yeah, I hope that you feel inspired. Maybe it's kind of just giving you a little bit of an insight into, you know, starting a ring bound journal. And just really simplifying the process. So oops, making your journal with, you know, some ready-made bits of ephemera, getting your pages kind of put together nice and quickly, nice and easily. So very quick and easy junk journal pages. And then obviously, you know, um, busy in your journal up afterwards, you know, just for a sort of quick and easy way to put your journal together, really. So, yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you could give this um, video a thumbs up. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Thanks then. Bye.